Welcome back everybody. Time right now 1122 on what was a really stormy, really hot day in the upstate. Fortunately, a lot of those storms have since fizzled out. Just a bit of leftover lingering rain and in parts of northeast Georgia down towards Albert County. But uh, most of us have quieted down just a bit and are just seeing partly cloudy skies across most of the region and pretty much expect uh, there's not a whole lot of changes ahead in our forecast to tomorrow is going to be really similar to what we saw today, if not even hotter. So there's a possibility that we could see more storm damage like this. Check out all the wind damage reports that came in all up and down uh, Highway 178 in Pickens County. Obviously, Pickens took a pretty hard hit earlier, but also Anderson County, parts of Oconee County, even up towards Lake Jocassi and parts of Greenville County all saw uh, trees or power lines that were knocked down in the straight line winds that we saw today. It was really hot and really humid, which meant that the storms had a lot of energy to work with. And uh, the truth of the matter is these were just run of the mill summer storms, but because it was so hot and humid, they really packed a punch farther up into Northwestern North Carolina. When these storms initially formed, they also produced quite a bit of damage across Haywood County towards Waynesville had some reports of quarter sized, even egg sized hail with some of these storms up the mountains at the higher elevations, a better chance of seeing some hail. And we definitely saw that, especially up towards Marion and into po parts of uh, Polk and Rutherford counties and into Buncombe County outside right now in Greenville, nice and quiet. Just saw that little flash of the uh, airport lights going going around in circles there. That's always fun to see. That's the downtown airport there and over there is downtown Greenville. That's 385 there at the bottom of your screen. Low and mid 70s for temperatures outside right now, even up in the mountains, uh, even some mid and upper 60s in Cullowee and Franklin. Not going to cool off all that much tonight because it's so humid outside with the heat and humidity. We've got a heat advisory in effect. This is where we could see the heat index get up to around 105 degrees tomorrow. That's for Greenwood and Abbeville counties as well as over to northeast Georgia towards Hart and Elbert counties. Not that uh, the rest of us won't see heat. It will definitely be hot tomorrow, but this is uh, the general area of where we could see some dangerous heat. So try to limit your time outside if you can and take frequent breaks as well as uh, drinking plenty of fluids. Always important to remember that. Heading into tomorrow morning, we wake up to a partly cloudy sky across most of the area with some peaks of sunshine, and we're going to heat up pretty quickly. So by noon, we're going to get up into this mid and upper 80s across much of the area. Heading into 3 and 4 o'clock, temperatures continue heating up, especially farther south, possibly hitting 94, 95 degrees towards Abbeville and Lawrence. I think we made it to the low 90s today. And again, that chance for pop up afternoon storms is going to be there for tomorrow as well. I think it may be a little later in the day, though, not really until seven to eight o'clock uh, do we see better coverage of showers and storms popping up. And then really late tomorrow evening is when our latest future radar has those storms coming in. So plan on possibly running into some more heavy stuff, especially early Monday morning. It'll be a couple of days ahead where we have rounds of uh, passing showers and thunderstorms when it's again, whenever it's this hot outside, it's really no surprise that that chance is there for our severe weather outlook for tomorrow. looks like that highest risk is going to be up to the north across western North Carolina, where we have that best chance of seeing some strong winds and possibly some hail medium risk for strong winds and hail, just like today, low risk for flooding. And with this particular setup, not really much of a chance of tornadoes to worry about. It's mostly just the heat and humidity generating these storms storms, not a whole lot of wind shear in the atmosphere. So for those rain chances the next few days, it's 40% tomorrow and Monday, 50 and 60% for Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, just a lot of a uh, lot of days ahead where we have wet weather in the mix and uh, most of these chances will not be in the morning, so it won't be a complete washout each day, but in the afternoon and into the evening, uh, the hottest part of the day is when we have that best chance for some storms. So here's what I've got for the four day plus another impact day tomorrow because of how hot it's going to be, especially in the southern part of the upstate with a high of around 94 95 for most of us. Then low 90s Monday and Tuesday. Uh, it's kind of reverts back to more not just in, not intense heat, but normal summer heat. Early July is the hottest time of the year on average. And again, showers and storms continue for most of this week. 50 to 60% chance for the 4th of July and into July 5th. 40 plus for the mountains looks like this hot and stormy as well. Low 90s tomorrow, but then upper 80s and mid 80s the rest of next week, as well as more showers and storms in the afternoon and evening.